What's going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in real quick, guys, because Saturn is in Pisces, all right? Um, you know, Saturn being in Pisces is all about karma. It's all about spiritual karma. It's all about payback is what you're seeing. All right, even, you know, your ancient history and religion is being exposed right now. And, and you know, they can't uphold the law no longer. Saturn was in retrograde for a few months now and it's stationed direct yesterday. Nobody didn't know. Okay, Saturn gave, well, not nobody didn't know. A couple of people didn't know. But Saturn gave a lot of people to buy time when Saturn was in retrograde. See, Saturn brought people a little bit of time to rewrite their wrongs while Saturn was in retrograde. All right, so Pisces. Pisces, Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac, which means we all went through all the signs, right? We all were supposed to be learning how all of these signs correlate to our universal being embodying every sign right so as this cycle is coming to an end we were supposed to be learning how to embody each one of the signs and now ready to release everything right that is physical we all supposed to be ready you know i'm getting like you know think about the tarot deck think about we start in in the beginning of the Zodiac, Aries, with the food card. And then we ending out with Pisces. Now the world card. Now you're going to see the world card. And that's the end. That's us knowing and have embodied everything from the food to the world card. And now when you get to the world card, you're ready to release everything physical. And go deep into your subconscious mind and find your beliefs. Find your truth. Find your God-like frequencies and high yourself. All right? It is the world that is unseen to you because you was going through all of that. So when the world court come, come out, you ready. See, Pisces, y'all, is an old soul. All right? So things that are coming out and things that are coming up, even with some of the older people in your family, some of the older people around you, all right, that thought that they would get away with certain shit because they older. Nope. So even older people, all right, are being exposed for what the shit that they've done. All right, see, Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. And y'all need to research this and y'all need to be writing this shit down. Because this shit is serious. This is going on now. Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. All right, and you, you that's the hangman energy. Right, sacrificing, watching, observing, seeing shit from a different point of view. Neptune rules deception. Neptune rules addictions, lies, illusions, delusions on the lowest frequency. So anybody that was in a, in a low frequency and vibing low, this is what is being exposed. Deception, addictions, lies, illusions, and delusions. All right, on a high frequency, Neptune is love and dreams. That's why it's related to your divinity. Saturn is all about order, y'all. Saturn, karma, chronos, all right? Saturn is all about order in your character, your wisdom, and how you're tightening up, how you're learning. That's what Saturn is worried about. Are you learning from your past mistakes? Are you tightening up? Are you doing the things that is going to propel you towards your future? All right. And if you're not tightening up and if you're not changing and creating order in your life by learning from your mistakes, Saturn is, ex is exposing you. Look around you. It's happening. Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac signifying some form of fucking ending. Right. This transit going through Pisces is the last. It, you know, This transit going through Pisces is supposed to last about two and a half years. And we are only eight months in. So we just getting started. Y'all, 
We eight months in, and look what's all that's happening so far. We only eight months in. This is only the first transit. We got two more transits. All right. The first transit is in Neptune. All right. Everything that you thought was done, like everything that you thought was done undercover. All right. The fog is about to become so clear to you. Everything that you didn't really know, but you, you, you felt the fog is about to become so clear to you and you're about to see some things collectives. Your ass would have never thought you would see. Okay. In this lifetime, all the things people called you crazy about all the things people try to play you for all the things people try to call you and, and treat you like an outcast for is now being revealed to be true everything all right so there were a lot of people using your info trying to be you there were a lot of people stealing your pictures and your identities there were a lot of people Having you up on their on their social platforms in the negative light. There were a lot of people making fake accounts. Being somebody that there wasn't. There were a lot of people going around soliciting people for spiritual readings under your name. For those of you that do tarot and child, those people have found out. And the copycats have been exposed, baby. The, the copycats have been exposed. Saturn has came for them. All right. Your ancestors have returned. And you are the vessel. Especially us indigos. Let me tell you one thing about us indigo children. Specifically, a lot of people. You know, you, you do your research on that. I'm not even going to go and explain. All right. Our ancestors is living through us, especially us indigos, all right? Your ancestors have returned. And you are the vessel, especially us indigo children, all right? We are our ancestors return in this time. Watching the changes of the gods. I didn't say gods. I said guards. We are watching the changes of who the fuck got control and authority over people's lives. And things in higher places. The gods are switching. The gods are getting fired and terminated. All right. Saturn and Pisces, y'all. That's the last sign in a zodiac. Signifying the last days and the end days of this fucking cycle. You hear me? As karma is being given to all those who got away with the loss and evil, especially. All of the fake and fraudulent gurus. Yes, yes, yes. You hear me? Extorting money from people, blackmailing people, knowing these are the children of the ancestors. See, they seen you. The ancestors is watching, baby. And doing all this while Saturn was in Pisces was a crazy move right there. Was crazy, see? And that's why, come on spirit, and that's why a lot of us didn't speak on it. You didn't hear me speaking about Saturn being in retrograde. You didn't hear probably a lot of motherfuckers didn't speak on about Saturn being in retrograde. But that's because our ancestors told us to give them all the rope they need to hang themselves. Because now we kicking up the chair. We kicking the chair right up off under them after they hung themselves. And that's why you see bodies dropping like fucking flies. All right. We kept up with the gardens from the moon and the cosmos. And that's all we were supposed to do. See, we not always supposed to tell everybody what the fuck is going on. What's sacred? Y'all supposed to be doing your own homework on this. How these moon cycles work. What planets are in retrograde? What planets are not? So that's what happened. That's why you didn't see a lot of spiritualists, especially ones that was getting attacked. We wasn't talking about it. All right. 
We wasn't speaking on it because our ancestors told us to give them all the road. Give those karmics all the road they need. All the rope that they need to hang themselves. Because now, again, we kicking the chair right up or from under them. All right? And that's why you see them dropping like that. People been stealing from you. People been running corrupt businesses around you. All right? Robbing people. People been robbing people and hiding. Uh-uh. Had that same energy come up, come up on out of hiding, baby. Your spot is, is blown up. All right? People, these are the people that's been living in a fake reality, collectives. Had everyone under a motherfucking spell and hallucination. Well, guess what? Neptune, the ruler of motherfucking spells. Neptune is the ruler of motherfucking lies, deception. All right, so Saturn entering Pisces and the first transit in Neptune, the spells are broken. The veil has been lifted. This is the first transit in Neptune. All right. So while we are rejoicing, right, there will be many scared as fuck because they feel the energy and they should be scared. They should be going against people who knew they were lying. Trying to get people and influence people to, to go against the same people, us, that were standing up to their lies. And they defeated many of our people in the motherfucking process. So, yes, this is karma and they should be scared. Whatever that they're feeling, yes, they should be scared. Okay? There's so many people that went to jail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is so many people, innocent people, that wasn't supposed to be locked up recently, too. Okay? We know about it. Getting people locked up. Mm-hmm. See, that's the problem. See, there were so many people that went to jail and other places because of people's lies. Or because people were trying to get rid of us by any means necessary. All right? But Saturn and Pisces, baby, is bringing back all your rewards tenfold. Snatching. Your crown's back from the same karmic energy that stole it from you. All right? That's why it's very important for you to know your chart. It is important to see how all of this is playing out for you. Because everybody got Pisces in their chart. All right? Mine's is in my north, my north node is in Pisces. Period. That's why I'm so motherfucking hype. This is my season. This is my time. My north node. My destiny is here. Me being free from karma. All right. Now, this is going to get a little triggering. All right. But I got to say what I got to say. So for a lot of us colored people, right, this shit don't got nothing to do with race. I'm just got to say something. So for a lot of us colored people, we have been so motherfucking confused and indoctrinated about who the fuck we are. Where the fuck we came from? Because I don't know where y'all came from. I came from motherfucking America. You hear me? They keep trying to say that we know about, that we found America. No, it was indigenous people. My motherfucking people already over here. You hear me? Try to say we lived here. We Everybody came from Africa. Africa. No, no, no. No. A couple of people came from Africa, but a lot of people came from America. All right, so... We all, it was a big fucking confusion with our people. All right. We have been so indoctrinated and confused about where the fuck we come from, our identity. They kept us confused. Just look around you. But honey, Pisces rules confusion. All right. Saturn and Pisces is going to clear up all that motherfucking confusion. If you didn't know who the fuck you were. Okay? All of it. Look. If you look at it. Look at what our people have awakened to. Look how much people are awakened. Remember. 144,000 is not a fucking lot. Fuck. 
2019 and 2020, there was a huge awakening with a lot of people around, around and, and around that time, Saturn was going in Aquarius. Okay, but once it crossed over to Pisces, the fog and the clouded vision burnt the fuck away. And a lot of people started to regain back their consciousness. A lot of us started to remember who the fuck we were. And see, Saturn ain't playing with people anymore. Why do you see these comics and these people and these jobs and these institutions? Why do you think you see these people like that? All right, because Saturn ain't playing with these people no more. That's why you see a lot of people suffering the way they are. This is not regular suffering you're seeing, okay? And just wait until it goes into the second transit of the moon. Look, I'm going to give y'all some game right here, all right? Think of the transits as sections of 10, right? And every every uh, uh, sign... When it, you know, they, they have a, a 30 degree transit, right? 10, 20, 30, sections of 10. All right. So Pisces, right? The first 10, zero to 10 is ruled by Neptune energy. The second from that 10 to 20 is ruled by the moon. And the last, that 20 to 30 is ruled by motherfucking Pluto. Y'all. Child, we didn't see nothing yet. We already, we only in the first transit, baby. Did, did you hear what I, the second transit is ruled by the motherfucking moon. And the third one is ruled by Pluto, governed by Scorpio. We are only in the first transit. We have not seen anything yet. All right. So be careful what you do and what you do in the people at this time. All right. If you have done anything you know is wrong. Now is the time to clear that shit up. Now is the time to right your wrongs. So if your spirit and your consciousness is telling you to do something and it's telling you to do something and you don't want to do it, just do it. Do it. All right. Neptune is also the ruler of the lymphatic system. Remember, the planets govern the bodies too. That's why y'all need to be up on this. But remember that Neptune governs the lymphatic system, all right? And that's the system where the cells is at that fights off infections and germs. Why you think you see these people trying to attack your immune system? There may be a lot of people you know that is facing a lot of health issues at this time because Neptune deals with, with the body, that fights off infections and disease and stuff like that. And if you're not working with yourself, all these things will arise. So you're going to see a lot of people dealing with a lot of health concerns. And a, and a lot of them probably not going to make it. A lot of them probably not going to like what they're hearing. Your body got to fight it off. So the best way to deal with that is fasting or cleansing. It, the, the best way is not to be taking any type of medication from the motherfucking hospital, baby. That's not the way to go right now. Fasting is highly recommended. All right. Neptune is also symbolic to the spirits. All right. So what's what spirits? What, what, what narcotic is called spirits? Drinking. Drinking alcohol or any drug that is liquefied or in a liquid form. All right, should be watched. Drugs and alcohol is ruled by Neptune. All right, Saturn and Pisces, that's the first transit ruled by Neptune. So all of this is coming out right now. And as we are in the first transit, alcohol, drugs, sex, STDs. All right, this is coming to the light in our first transit. Immune systems is being compromised. Not being able to fight off certain infections is what's going on. All right, Saturn and Pisces is also exposing the fuck out of religion and institutions. Depending on how your chart is set, certain people and planets can also be prone to sexual infections. So that's why you got to gotta make sure you, you watching your body. Because the planets in your chart is set up like that. So for instance, all right, Neptune is dealing with your immune system, right? And Mars all right, is dealing with what? Sex and attacks. Neptune and Mars, oh baby, that is a concoction for a fucking setup when it comes to infections and shit. So the last transit 
in Pisces is in Pluto, ruled by Scorpio, baby. All right, Pluto is a very small planet, as I always say, but it is magically super powerful, y'all. And Pluto will rip and destroy and eliminate and bring down anything that needs a rebirth, that needs a renewal. All right, it is bringing down anything that it's needed to regenerate and repair, ridding you from all the things that is damaging your growing process. See, if Pluto doesn't like what's there in your life, he's going to remove it and he's going to remove it completely. And that's a lot what you guys seen in October as he's stationed direct. So right now it's a time to get focused and rid yourself from a lot of addictions, confusions and anything of that nature. All right, because you're dealing with karmic spirits right now. You're not dealing with regular shit. Okay? So, that was just to keep you guys updated on some of the shit that's happening astrologically. You must see where Pisces at in your chart and all of this stuff. So, we're going to tap into the tarot. So let's ask Archangel Michael and the Legwa to protect me, protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap in to what's headed towards the collectors for Saturn and Pisces. I'm just, I'm hearing quantum physics. I just heard that. All right, happiness, nine of cups. All right. Wow. King of Cups. All right. So this is happiness. You guys are regaining your happiness. You guys are one of the people that are regaining your consciousness is what I'm seeing. Your wishes are coming true here. I see your solar plexus and your crown chakra activated. A lot of your decisions. It's a lot with your heart chakra. It feels good. This is a lot of fulfillment, y'all. Starting out with this nine of cups. Yep, balance. You getting back. You getting back everything. All right, what I told you. Neptune and uh, Saturn and Pisces is, is getting you, is, is, is bringing you back everything. Tenfold that was stolen from you. Money, wisdom, time. All right, everything is, 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 is being back balanced. All right. You won a battle. You are a high achiever over here. Yeah, collective. So with this nine of cups, baby, this is a call of contentment, acceptance. All right. It feels like everything is going well for you at this time. You are in the right place at the right time, exactly where you need to be. All right. You're practicing a lot of gratitude, random acts of kindness and self-love is attached to this card. And... You're spreading love. You're happy. All right. You're loving who you are. That's benefiting you in every aspect of your life right now. You look at yourself in the mirror and saying, damn, I look good. All right. You deserve to hear that. As long as you keep being content with who you are, where you are, you're exactly where you need to be. You got it going on right now. Okay. And it's showing. See, with this six of pentacles, you know, there's a lot of time where we all need assistance from others. And there are other times when we can give it back. There's plenty of love and support, you know, going around. It's looking like in your energy. All right. And you're allowing people to help if you need it. It's not a sign of weakness in this card. Okay. You giving back in areas where you got. This call also signifies an arrival of a big gift from the universe. And then you coming out with the six of wands. Okay. Do you see this? This card screams. I know my worth. All right. I know what I want. And I'm going to get it. That's what you telling people with the six of wands. All of this. This is like the universe is having your back tenfold, escorting you to greatness. 
All right, working precisely with your goals and your achievements. You are feeling fine as fuck and nothing could bring you down right now. When the 601 shows up in your reading, you have the universe's green light to go after whatever you want. Good news is on the way. And if you've been waiting to hear from whoever, all right, this is this could be promotions. This could be a great sign that the call coming back. But this is a sign that you are winning in life collective, whoever you are. So this, this is this is your payback. This is how you're getting back. This is your karma from what you went through with these copycats and these doppelgangers. Look, this the end of the cycle. This is good luck. This is this is the will of fortune. This is karma. You are in a state of my yacht. This cycle. All right, you're no longer on the hamster wheel of karma. Your karmic debt is cleared. You don't owe no more karmic debt, baby. The will of fortune is literally like everything that's been documented. You've been you you've been you you got the green light. You got the green light. Everything is being put back to balance for you this cycle. Congratulations. All right. The will of fortune is a big deal. Okay. A big deal. Uh, right along with the nine of cups and the six of wands. All right. You got a six, six here. Three, six, nine is what I'm getting. You find like one, baby. Okay. A lot of these karmic spirits can't fuck with you. They getting ran over. Look, you blocking out anything that's not providing you peace. All right? You, you being led by faith and not by sight too. So there's a lot of things that you are not in control over. You are blocking out everything that is not of your peace, of your sanity, and of your liking when it comes to your joy. Your joy. You, you don't have no time. You, you are not easily accessible no more. It is very hard to get next to you, to get close to you, even a conversation. For a lot of, for a lot of you guys also, you know a lot. You don't need no that. You know a lot. Look, these are opportunities coming in. All right. These are new. These are kindred spirits coming in. These are messages. These are, this is help. This is assistance coming in. All right. This is you being able to assist in seasons like this. This is people needing to come to you for assistance. The last will be first and the first shall be last. There's going to be a lot of people. Asking for favors, needing you and your resources. You have the resources that people need right now. And it's looking like a lot of people are getting a straight no. That's the whole sentence. See, a lot of people didn't expect you to be in such a high ranking position. This season. They didn't expect this to be your karma and your dharma, baby. You got to say so. It's looking like you know who to give to and who not to give to. But you are the giver in this season. You got the you got the resources. Six of Pentacles. A lot of people gonna be needing you. Look, you have the truth. You have the say so. Whatever you say, it gets granted. To Ace of Swords, look. A clear ass future. You see things clear. You see beyond your current position. You see past people's current position. You see beyond the, the physical state. You are a visionary. All right. It's looking like whatever you said came to pass. You know, this is the six of wands to the ace of swords. All right, this is a sign from the universe that you, you've you done, got crystal clear about what you wanted 
and needed from people and the universe. You stood for what you wanted. All right. You you it's looking like you stand on your knowledge and what you knew to be true about something. All right. You are living authentically. You know what you desire in life aren't going to give you the pressure from others because you know what you want. This is a card that's clearing up all the gossip, clearing it up. Okay. This is also attracting mentally stimulating relationships, turning you on in that way. All right. Ready to find somebody who can turn you on with, with your brains. Right. You're not dumbing yourself down to try to turn somebody else on. You are the prize. Okay. You have a clear future. You in your own lane right here. Like this is good fucking karma, whoever you are. Like this is a clear path. You you know everything. You know you your discernment. You have mastered the art of discernment. Literally, you've mastered the art of discernment. Look, the three of cups. This is gonna be a successful, fun, uh a very happy cycle for you. This is achievements. This is rewards. This is success. These are milestones. These are new friends. These are kindred spirits. All right. You left those karmic spirits in the past. Now these are kindred spirits coming in. All right. Look. You hear me? God is in control this season for you. God is in control this cycle for you. All right. You've been a messenger of God this whole time. Now you're going to see the now you're going to see the magic. You're going to see the magic. You hear me? You about to see you about to see who God said he is when he when he say he going to keep his promise. God told you this cycle was going to be easy. God told you this cycle was going to be yours. God told you this cycle was going to be filled with abundance, riches, family, happiness, peace, luxury and good fortune. That's what God says. You needed to get ready. You needed to get prepared. Child, be ready. This your good karma, baby. You have let go of everything physical. You are no longer um, attracted to that. What's your mind like? You got Everything material you want and need right now. This is like a cycle of consecutive wins for you, whoever you are. And you've probably been feeling it. The seven of swords. Remember what I told you. These are the people that's going down for stealing your work. You had people stealing your pictures. You had people plagiarizing. You had people literally stealing your work and trying to come up. From your work, your face, your readings, your, your, your knowledge. And it says right here on his book, it says, what is original anyway? Blocked. So you got this person blocked. And it also says, it's all been done. Why not copy, paste, repeat? People do it all the time. So this person is comfortable with being a doppelganger. You have an energy that is comfortable with taking your stuff and plagiarizing it because they feel like everybody else is doing it. These are the same people that don't even realize that Saturn is in Pisces and that they was being watched. You got somebody doppelganging you on social media, making fake accounts, being you, trying to be you, commenting and doing all this crazy stuff and these people's lives are in shambles. Look, the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. I would never lie. All right. These people have been trying to go and listen to readings. These people have been distracted on, on YouTube all day is what I'm hearing. Listening to people read cards and attaching 
every message and every story to their reality and they are in shambles they are confused you hear me neptune remember confusion this is the first cycle this is the first transit this is what's coming out the delusion the addictions this person was addicted to terror these are all the things that's coming out in this first transit how delusional this person was how addicted to tear out this person was how gone this person was in a mind this is what's coming out in this first transit delusion the lies the deception the sneaky shit the robbing the stealing and then trying to hide your hand baby these people don't know what the fuck is going on. See, the problem is that they hurt three of swords. They hurt. They broken hearted. You hear me? And they thinking terror or listening to terror is going to solve the problem. And as soon as a terror read and say the truth, they get like this. Scrambled. Mad. They not clean. So you think they energy going to be clean? Look how they living. This is these are natural disasters that's coming to karmic energy that is now being exposed. All right, false prophets. Look, they know it's God, baby. They know this is God doing. They know it can't be all the fucked up shit that's going on in their life. They know that it can't be just a regular person. They know that there's a higher influence behind their karma that they are receiving. These are people that was a part of fraudulent acts and activities. These are people that wanted to steal your identity. These are people that wanted to do it all to you. But see, the number nine is a number of consciousness. Somebody conscious is fucking with them because they know they wrong. See, you could, you could lie. You could play that Neptune shit with everybody else. But when Neptune start Neptuning and in in, in Saturn and Pisces... Yeah, your, your conscience is fucking with you. Look, and as I'm saying, Neptune energy. Okay. These people are wishing that they could reduce shit that they've done in the past and they can't. You know why? Because they ass is under judgment and they should be motherfucking scared. Because they, they try to stop something. Look, they try to prevent you. All right. The eight of cups in reverse. These people try to prevent you. From moving forward after seeing what the fuck you've seen from these people. All right, you are moving forward in victory. These people are under judgment. You hear me? This ain't nothing but karma. This ain't nothing but spiritual reparation. All right, and this shit ain't nothing but Neptune energy exposing all the lies, all the fakes, all the illusions, all the disillusions, all the sneaky shit. All right, all the robbery. These people are robbing people. These people are lining people up. All the robbery, all the killing our people in our neighborhood. Poisoning them. All right? Poisoning the people in our neighborhood. Selling drugs to them. Mm-hmm. You think you was going to come up by, by, by killing people in your own neighborhood? Scrambled? All right? All the lies, all the deception is out and everybody sees them in this way. All right, everybody, and they know that they can't write they wrong. All the shit they were supposed to write they wrongs. Now that Saturn is here, Saturn already stationed uh, direct yesterday. So now they they seeing all the shit happen. They realizing that their conscience is fucking with them. They realizing why God wasn't answering their motherfucking prayers. They're watching you be outstandingly blessed. Oh yeah, they conscience is fucking with them. The number nine. All right, they know that they fucked up. They know that they can't take away what the fuck they done. These people are broken hearted. They're trying to figure out why this is happening to them. Things that never happened to them ever in life before. They don't know how to manage. Be scared. Because these are the same people that was going against people that were standing up to their lies. They already defeated a lot of our people. And now that they can't defeat no more, this is how they are.
So this is what you're going to be seeing while you living your life. They're going to be so consumed. Look, King of Wands. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it's looking like, see, this is going on. See, these comics thought that by kicking y'all out because y'all wanted to follow y'all dreams. See, y'all coming out as the King of Wands. Y'all got the gift of magnetism. Y'all got the gift of spirit. Y'all are attractive in each and every way you could possibly think of. Okay. For some of you guys, y'all don't even mean to be as attractive as you are. But the karmic energy, because they didn't have no magnetism, and because you are thrilled about life right now, okay? They try to kick you out. They try to embarrass you. But baby, that, that embarrassment that they try to pull was a revelation for you because look where they done set you up at. Do you see what card is poking out? The motherfucking justice. Oh, that's the magician. Now, you can create your own motherfucking family. These people try to literally kick you out when you had nothing. Because you were, you were the king of wands. You somebody that's attractive. You cannot help that. Baby, for a lot of you guys, they stopped your career. You wasn't supposed to be in no hood with these people. You were, you were supposed to be on stage singing. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be somebody's manager. I know. Okay. The tower card, these people violated your privacy. They violated your, your sacredness. They, have, they violated you. All right? And they try to play you, throw all your shit out so everybody could see. But baby, that was a revelation. Because now you're on to the Ten of Cups. Everything that Pluto did not like. Everything that was going wrong in your relationships and had you looking like this. All right? That shit is the end. All right, there's a blessing that was hidden in this mess. Okay, and it's for you to get the fuck out. You got a new, this is a new home right here. Look, with a whole lot of love, Ace of Cups. That, that fallout was the start of your new cycle. That was the ending that needed to be completed. That was the ending. That was the last thing that needed to happen for you to take your shit and go. However that happened. All right. That was the death card. All right. Remember, that's Pluto energy. That's Scorpio energy. All of this is happening. All right. And that's going to push you somehow to manifest and work on yourself and to prioritize all of your skills and your new home peacefully. You're not going to have no stress. There's love here. There's newness here. There's peace. There's hope. There's regeneration. This is the rebirth process that I was saying. See, Pluto knew this shit was going to happen. You think the whole time these your friends. All right. Uh-uh. They wanted to see you down. They wanted you out of here. They wanted to get rid of you. Lock you up in jail. Before you ever break a commitment. And now the commitment is broken, done, wrapped up like a cookie. You don't own no more comic debt. All right. These people are on YouTube looking at tarot readings. All right. Looking crazy, stealing your work and going through major storms. Look, it's raining outside. Major storms every day until um, this karma is cleared up for about two and a half years. All right. And if you like this in the first eight months. Of this transit, okay? What you think you're going to be in two and a half years from now? Okay? Look, the king of swords. There is somebody that has cut the fuck everything out their life. Everything. You hear me? They cut family off to create the new family. They've cut off old family that was keeping them in a state of unbalanced and the six of pentacles they had to feed everybody there was no balance and responsibilities it was demanding for to be fed like babies these are grown people these are people that own own property and own houses demanding to be fed by scavengers 
I mean, but they're acting like scavengers. Look, they they gambling, but demanding to eat. But gambling all the money away. All right, that's what y'all had to learn. That's what y'all had to cut out. So now that y'all cut out everything physical, this was the physical aspects of the karma that you had to learn. Built a family off of money and gambling and corruption and robbing and stealing. Okay? Now you're building a family. That's what's gone. Death card. Now you're building a family on values, truth, honesty, love, peace, free will. All right. Spirit, give me more on this um, Nine of Swords. The Page of Pentacles, learning something new, finally on God's timing. Okay, look, the world caught, and that's how y'all closing out that cycle. Y'all done. For some of you guys, this is literally a new place. A new location where nobody knows where y'all live. This is the reward y'all getting. Everything being snatched away from who stole it from you and brought back to you tenfold with an extra umph in it, with an extra blessing. You hear me? Your crown has been ripped the fuck off from the imposter. And this is the universal way of showing you this is yours. It's always been God don't make break his promises. The world card, remember what I was explaining? I'm getting the world card like when once you give up everything physical and ready to like go after whatever you you're ready to find yourself, you're ready to find a deeper meaning in life, that's when you start really living. That's when you really start finding love and the truth about who love you. All right, not this. Not you having to feed the help all the time. When you to be in, a, in some type of shelter. Okay. See, they're still trying to fix what is already broken. These are these. This is what they're dealing with right now. All right, but this is closed out cycle, a fresh new cycle. You literally have the world card to the full card. It's done. This is a fresh new cycle after a major ending. Fresh. All right. You guys see things from a totally different way. Y'all see how the karmic energy was was moving and demanding, and you were just fucking with the help with this death card here. This is a brand new life for you guys. New future, new home, new success. All right. And don't forget your dreams. Your dreams as a king of wands. Your dreams are gonna come back. And you're going to regain consciousness of your dreams and your skills. All right. Y'all in a happy place right now. Y'all fucking successful as hell right now. This is your good karma. And this is spirit saying. These people are going to be consumed. Right. Neptune here. Lies. Everything been covered off judgment. All right. But God always keeps his promises. Always. It may not come in, in, in a way you thought. But baby, always. Shit just has to get cleared out in, in the cosmic way. And that's why you got to release control death card. Release control over the outcome because it don't be happening the way we think. We be thinking we know it all. We be thinking nothing happening in the background the whole time. This All this is happening. Do you know how, 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 how much it takes to bring you this? This is a whole house. This is a whole family. This is a whole... A career. This is a whole environment. This is a lot that was happening in the background for you to be solidified and covered and sheltered and at peace after going through a, a war. So, yeah. Stuck on you to watching. These people have been, these are your copycats. Alright, so I love you and I hope that home.